Okay, guys, in this one, we're going to continue with our um, 2010 Camaro uh, build a base file. Um, and so I've shown you how to um, go in and edit uh, the file for Camshaft and kind of what to do and what to look for. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely um, reach out to me. So we're going to go over here and go to the trans section. And I'm actually going to use the Blue Cat um, tool and kind of show you how. I go about that. Um, so we're here in the transmission section. Um, obviously, it's not a manual car. Um, shift general, not really anything to touch um, in here. Um, so I'm going to kind of go backwards, actually. So um, oops, let me go here and so. I'm um, going to kind of go backwards and explain some stuff. Well, I guess I'll go forwards um, before we get into the Blue Cat tool. So the shift scheduling, this is the one thing that will really make the vehicle drive uh, really differently. Um, so, you know, honestly, like most customers, I don't even touch the shift scheduling unless they ask. Some people like it really aggressive um, and basically, you know, moving up the... You would go here at 25% throttle to maybe 62 and you would bump this three or four miles an hour. What that's going to do is that's going to that's going to move up when the shift happens, and even though you're only going in three or four miles an hour, it could be that um, you know that could be a 500 rpm difference, which for a lot of people is going to going to really weird them out. Um, so I usually you can go in and you can bump your downshift speeds up a little bit, um, but I usually come to the shift scheduling section last. Um, shift pressures um, you do need to. Um, again, th this is something that people can get really weirded out by if you're not careful. Um, the upshift pressure being what you, you know, would go in and, and, and change. So you might go in and add, you know, 15 PSI, something like that to all of the direct upshifts. So the one, two, the two, three, three, four, but not the one, three, one, four, two, four, et cetera. And you would do that for all of them. So again, you come into the Y pattern and you might hit 15 PSI, okay? If you're gonna do that though, you've gotta come into general. We're gonna change our max pressure to like, um, probably gonna change our max pressure to something like, I don't know, 250, whatever your highest pressure is. Um, you might wanna look at that. And then the line pressure, we'd come in here and we'd bump this up, you know, by, I don't know, 175 or 200, something like that. Um, just make sure you don't command that much on the upshift. Downshifts, we're not going to touch. Adaptives, uh, we're not going to touch. Shift timing, this can be used, uh, the upshift timing, this can be used to, um, you know, shorten up the length of the shifts. So the, you know, 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.7246 is pretty long in comparison to 0 0.5098. Um, you know, so you could come in here and, um, you know, you might make this like uh, 0.275 um, and hit equals, you know, and then you might do an interpolation, something like that. Um, not going to touch the transition time or the desired output torque time. Um, the shift timing, I think, is something that's like really... Um, um, you know, finite, you know, like you're, you're really splitting hairs at that point, not going to touch the downshift. The torque converter is a big one. Um, the apply and release. So when the torque converter locks and unlocks um, is definitely uh, going to be pretty pertinent information, especially with the full throttle settings. Um, looks like some of these tables aren't used. Um, and then the torque management on the upshift, this is the value. So this has, this has a hundred percent torque management in it, which I'll be honest with you, torque management and shift pressures is what kills transmissions. Um, so I'm going to be very reluctant to change some of this stuff. Unless it's a built transmission, if it's bone stock, I'm probably going to leave this set to one. Um, so, um, if we go into the Blue Cat tool and we open this up, 
we go in here and we will select 6L8090. Um, there's a couple things you need to select in here. So the shift slope, we're going to go in here and select where are we at? Um, 10 and up Camaro, electronic throttle. You want to use that. Um, your idle. So that's going to be important. So we're going to plug in 750. That's what our idle is set at. Also, your final drive gear and your tire size. So you can go up here to your calibration. Go up here to edit your entire wizard. This is a 2779 tire with a 327 gear. So we have 27.79, is that what I said? Yeah, and then a 327 gear, seven gear. Right, and then this vehicle has a stock converter. There's your stall speed right there. Um, and so we're gonna leave that like it is. I believe it's got a stock converter. So we'll leave that like it is. And everything else is already kind of set up. Um, so what you would do here is you'd go to export and this is going to spit out all the stuff that you need. So here's your main shift table. Um, let's go back to our calibration file. And we're just kind of poking around, just kind of looking just to see what all is going down. So what I'm really concerned with is the um, torque converter. Um, stuff. So we can skip over. There's our fifth gear shift table. There's our sixth wide open throttle shift table. Um, the wide open throttle fifth and then the sixth. The wide open throttle RPM. Fifth, sixth, wide open throttle RPM. Here's our TCC table, torque converter lockup. Okay, so what we would do is come in here and go to copy. Go over here to the table and we would hit Paste. So it's going to paste those values in there for us. Looks like that. So now they look the same. And then you come over here, hit next. Here is the fifth gear. Let's move over here. Hit fifth. Okay, so it's editing the values and it's going to keep you from, um, it's going to keep the converter for, uh, from locking for longer, which is a good thing. And then we'll do six gear. Hit paste. And then, let's see what the next one is. And then the wide open throttle. So basically, um, the converter is not going to lock at wide open throttle, which is a good thing. You want to make sure that um, if you're going to try to lock your converter at wide open throttle, you want to make sure that your converter can handle it. So you would want to um, contact your converter um, company whoever you bought it from and ask them if you can do that definitely at the drag strip you might be able to um, pick up some mile an hour um, make sure I got this right yeah we're good yeah you might want to pick you might pick up some mile an hour but is it really gonna do much there's just no telling um, so that's gonna take care of the converter um, Let's see, and then the rest of this, I'm probably going to leave the rest of this alone, honestly. Um, I don't need to edit that. If you wanted to do the shift scheduling, you could go in here and copy this table and do exactly what I just did, um, so on and so forth. Um, just don't be surprised, oops, fifth gear. Just don't be surprised if the customer comes back and and you know makes a comment about how it shifts or, or or what. So it's highly likely that you could have that happen. So paste that in, and then you'd also want to go in and oops, update the full throttle shift speed. So wide open throttle shift speed. We'd copy that. The normal table taking care of one through four, and then obviously fifth and sixth are different so so looks like you're not going to get into fifth or sixth gear these are already kind of um until you get to 173 miles an hour which if you're getting that fast then you know it's pretty gnarly copy these 
paste those, you know. So there again, honestly, this is stuff that like a lot of people probably never even going to get to just because they don't drive their cars that hard. Um, But every now and then you'll run into someone that, you know, takes it out and beats on it. So. so that would be the Blue Cat tool and how we use that. And you can save this, you know, for a particular customer. You can file, save it, and call it something. And that way you can go back and you can, you know, edit things. Um, so um, I've got a couple of vehicles that I've done files for where, I, you know, Got a little more in depth some of the stuff there again the biggest thing especially with the camshaft is just when the converter locks and some of the um, converter pressures just altering those um, and again adding you know you can add some pressure um, to these tables it just really depends and you'd have to look at a data log to really see but um, that's how you would do that so again if you guys have any questions about this stuff um, feel free to reach out let me know